In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a part system to create rain. So here we are in the default scene. Um, yeah, let's go and get started. And I'm going to delete all of the objects by using A and X, and then just deleting those objects. Sometimes it helps to clear your scene before you get started. Press Shift A, enter mesh, select a plane. This will be our particle emitter. So I'm going to move it up a little bit, scale it up significantly. Something like that, okay. And we'll go ahead and enable particle system for it. So hit plus sign and then under number, I'm going to use 100,000 particles. So there we go. Okay. And if we press play, we can see we have a, uh, yeah, all these particles. Now, obviously, they're not actual objects, they're just little points. I don't know, I guess they're just for your uh, reference, knowing where the particles would be. And to fix that, I'm just going to go ahead and make a EV sphere. And maybe get over here. And I'm going to take it to sculpting using the grab brush. Scaling up, using F on the keyboard scales that up a little bit. You may want to turn on uh, the symmetry lock. So just going down here to the symmetry, turning X and Y, and then begin sculpting. Then we're going to go to object mode, and yeah, select the plane. I'm going to here where it says render, and render as an object. I'm going to select the object, which is in this case is raindrop. So select that. That's just this object right here. I'm going to go ahead and press play. We see have all these raindrops falling, and they're very big, obviously. So we're going to select this. Um, I can shave it smooth too, and I'm going to scale it way down, way down. We're going to fine tune it later. I'm going to go ahead and press Shift A, add in a camera using Alt R to point all the way downward. That just basically destroys all of its um, rotation. Use RX and 90 to stand it back up. I'm gonna move it out just like that. Let's have a look through it. So I'm using zero and have a look definitely a little bit uh, close. So I'm gonna bring this out. Okay, looks pretty good to me. We can't go too far out. Oh, if you have started problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the background. In this case, we're gonna be using um, images of planes. We're gonna go ahead and put in just a, an image I downloaded. So scaled up a little bit, and just try to fit in the back there. The important thing right now is just make sure that you're um, not in front of the raindrops, you're actually behind it. Hit the uh, render view real quick, and we see we have a lot of stuff to work with. First thing I would notice is the fact that world setting needs to have a background. And so the important thing is to give it um, an HDR image, try to match the environment. So I'm just going to make it this one and obviously bring it straight way down because we're not trying to focus on that we're just trying to give it a um, yeah just a little bit of light into it now the raindrops themselves they're <laughs> they have a diffuse uh, material I'm sorry they have they have a principal shader or make that um, metallic 100% or just at a one that will bring down the roughness all the way down to zero and give them a slight uh, just a slightly dark material that way they're not, you know, so so white, something like that. Okay, now I can see we have a bit of an issue with this being less dense on either side. Just means we have to go to the top here, select the particle system, and scale it out on the x-axis just a little bit. Not too much, you don't want to spread your raindrops out too much. But something like that's good. Okay, now before we get too involved into it, I'm going to go ahead and um, make a wind source. So to do that, we're going to go press Shift A and use um, a force field, a wind force field. And we're gonna rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees, RZ, then 90, just pointing it in the right direction. Move it back a little bit. Um, I would definitely recommend a strength of five. That's about right. Now because of this, it means you're gonna have to um, move your camera and move this image back a little bit, or to the right a little bit. Let's select the camera and the background. We're going to use G then X, move it to the right a little bit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, find a good frame to work with. Something like that. And the trick to make it look like it's actually rain is to use motion blur. So down here it says motion blur, we're going to check that. I recommend 0.4 is good on your motion blur.
Okay, so long story short, the raindrops were too big at first, so I had to scale them down, and I had found three small, so I scaled them back up. And I just kept you know, rendering over and over trying to find a good size, and I found this one, this one worked pretty well. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is very applicable. Um, if you have like a 3D scene and you just want a little rain or some snow, this is the way I would do it. Um, I mean, it's not 100% realistic, but I mean, it's up to you. Um, all your little settings, you can change them and tweak them how you would like it. But yeah, this is just a simple way to make rain or, or, or snow in, um, in Blender using particle system. Thanks for watching.